Want to learn how to embed your YouTube video on your blog? Of course you do. That's why you're here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step, starting now. Putting a video on YouTube is great, but when you can take that video and put it on your own web property, i.e. your blog, you put a lot more power back in your own hands. Why? Because you have much more control about what else goes on the page, where you can send people to next, what links you can have them click on, etc. Here's an example of one of my blog posts over at jameswebner.com where I've taken a video that I made and put on YouTube and turned it into an entire blog post. There are images, uh, links, more uh, text and stuff like that. And ironically, most of these images are actually still shots or screenshots from the video itself. So I used the video to create an entire video blog post over on my blog. And one of the things I needed to do was embed the YouTube video over on my blog. And in this video, we'll show you exactly how to do that. You wanna make sure that you're logged into your YouTube channel. You wanna select your video manager. So you wanna go ahead and find the video that you actually want to embed. And if we wanted to edit it, we would select here, but we don't need to edit it right now. We're assuming that it's already good to go. And we wanna just click on the title or the thumbnail Congrats. and pause it. And here's what we're gonna to wanna to do. Go ahead and select the share button. And we want to select the second option here. See, this is share the video. This would be the URL. But we don't want the URL. We want the embed code. Now, what you want to do, uh, there's a few things here um, that we want to do. We want to make sure that show su suggested videos is unchecked. And uh, you can, I always like to use the old embed code. You can use the new one if you want. But I've just always had, you know, luck staying with the old one. That's up to you. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have the right size dimensions. Now these dimensions are gonna be in a 16 by nine format, but the only thing you need to worry about is the width. So what I like to do is I like to come over to my blog and I wanna make sure I know what the width of my post is. And it's gonna be from this side of the text to this side and it's 600 pixels. So that's how wide I want my video to be. I wanna make sure I put that in and it's gonna automatically create the height for us. 600 by 450 and you'll see that it also adjusted it in this little text box so what we want to do is select i just like to do command a to select all of this and we want to go ahead and copy this entire piece of code right here this is what we're going to use to embed on our blog post all right i'm really not going to take you through too much of a wordpress tutorial but we are going to use wordpress uh, to show you, to demonstrate how to do this, I would just create a new post. Obviously, I would enter in a title. This is my headline, and what I would what I would do is, you know, normally the the what you see is what you get. Editor is, you know, right here. It's on visual mode, and I'd say this is a video about X, uh, Y, Z, and then here's what I like to do. I like to actually write in where I want my video to go, just to give myself a note, you know, I'll put some stars next to it, and then I'll keep typing the rest of my post. You know, blah, 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 blah. And then when I'm done, I wanna go ahead and select the text tab, which is the HTML version of this, and now you see that it's really easy to find where I need to put my video. I wanna delete this and paste in my code, okay? And then we go back to the visual editor and you'll see, sure enough, there is our video code. There's a few things else I wanna do with this, so stay with me. First off, I wanna make sure it's centered, so I highlight the video and click the centered button. And then I wanna save the draft and we're gonna go ahead and preview this because we might want to change it just a little bit. Okay, so we're previewing my, previewing my post and you can see here's my text up here. Here's my text below it, and then here's the video. It's centered and it's the perfect width, but I've noticed something, and you might notice it too, that there are some black lines up at the top and the bottom. It looks like that it got embedded in a four by three format, and what we want is a 16 by nine. So here's how we can fix this super quickly. All you need to do is go to google.com and type in 16 colon nine. You're gonna find this website called size43.com and it will allow you to find the right ratio um, for a 16 by nine format. Since my video was 600 pixels wide, 
I type in six, 600 and it spits out the appropriate height, which is 338. Now, if I go back to the post where I had embedded my video and we go back to the text, if we look through this jarbled code that YouTube gave us, you'll see that the, the YouTube code that they gave us had a height of 450. Yet our four by uh, 16 by nine format here says that our height should be 338. So I, won't, I wanna go back and type in 338. But you actually have to do this in two places. Let me say that again. You have to do this in two places. So down here at the bottom, you'll see it again. I have no idea why you have to do it in two places, but you just do. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and click Save Draft. All right, we're gonna take one last look at the original version of this video, and we'll go ahead and refresh our preview of it to see our changes taking place. Notice the black lines here at the top and the bottom of the video. And here we are with the black lines gone. I'll go ahead and press play. We'll mute the video and you'll notice that there are no black lines above or below the video at all. That's what we want. So this is a very nifty tool to, to bookmark or save. It's size43.com forward slash jQuery video tool, or you can just go to Google and type in 16 colon nine, and you can, you can use this at any time. So you don't have to worry about pulling out the old calculator and doing some, uh, some old algebra or, or fancy math from high school. Now there's one other cool trick I wanna share with you. If you were to go to any of my blog post, posts, you would notice that I do something with every single one of them. I add my keyword and the URL of the video below the video. And this is, this is my keyword, DIY Film Studio. If you click this, it will take you to that YouTube video. And this is that link to the YouTube video. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a backlink and I'm creating a backlink with anchor text for my keyword back to YouTube. And this is something I highly recommend doing. It doesn't take that much time at all. Uh, all I would do is go back onto the visual editor of our post. And if our keyword was how to jump higher, I would write that here, select that, and then click this little link button and add my full YouTube URL. Not the short version, but the full one. The full one would look like this, youtube.com forward slash watch not some u.be or anything like that. It's the full URL with an HTTP. And I would select this and paste it into here and click add link. That's what I like to do with each and every single one of my videos. Uh, just to give myself a little bit extra link juice, uh, backlinking stuff to help my video rank on YouTube higher. Now, while I have you here on the topic of embedding on your blog, I wanna share with you one cool, uh, very powerful ad uh, and, and advanced trick that, uh, that we use all the time for capturing leads. And I'm gonna show it to you uh, right here uh, on one of my videos. We'll go ahead and watch this for a few seconds and we'll see what happens. No, I'm not engaging your audience. In just a moment, I'll tell you the exact that you need to effectively engage the viewers. Of your videos. Now, if you'll see what happened here, is as you were watching the video, it actually paused on its own and this little uh, overlay popped up that said free report, the YouTube traffic report, discover the simple three-step strategy for massive traffic. Uh, click here to you know uh, put in your email and press play and watch this video. You can also skip this. This is a tool called Lead Player. I actually have a full review, review of this software that you can grab. Uh, check it out. It's a powerful way for using your blog and video to build your list. This has been extremely beneficial for us in our business. I absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. And I have a full review for it here. Um, and basically it's the same exact way it works with YouTube. And this is just a player that integrates with YouTube. Absolutely love it. Especially um, if you are into building your list, which you should be. So there you go. Uh, entire video on how to embed your videos, your YouTube videos on your blog, on a WordPress blog. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks again for watching this video. If you want to see those tutorials again, here they are on the right hand side. You can click on any of those to learn more in depth about each and every one of those tips and tricks. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Still trying to figure out all this YouTube and social media stuff? Well, I got you covered. Click the link below to download my latest guide, the YouTube Traffic Report, to finally give you a clear cut strategy for online success with video. So you put your first, congratulations, wait.
If you haven't figured it out by now, YouTube and Google actually, wait, what was the word? Actually index. How do I want to end this? How was that? Did, did you enjoy that? Is that all right? Is that good?